Now, the Supreme Court is tonight preparing for the first formal court session in the presidential petition. The six judges of the court are tomorrow morning set to mention the presidential petitions. In our continuing focus on the Supreme Court judges who are under sharp focus over the landmark presidential petition, tonight we take a look at Justice Njoki Susanna Ndongo, famed for the Sexual Offences Act, the one-time refugee protection officer now judge of the country's highest court is the only woman in the sixth judge bench. Rita Tinina reports. Supreme Court judge, lawyer, women rights activist, Joki Susan Ndongo is perhaps best known for a crusade on sexual offenses, children and women's rights. The 47-year-old who was nominated to parliament by the National Rainbow Coalition in 2003 was the architect of the Sexual Offences Act. She was also behind the successful enactment of the Maternity and Paternity Act of 2007. Her crusade in parliament may have been informed by her studies and her previous work engagements. Njoki Ndongo holds a bachelor's degree in law from the University of Nairobi, a master's of law degree in human rights and civil liberties from the United Kingdom, and a diploma in women's human rights from the World University Services Austria. The soft-spoken Supreme Court judge began her career at the office of the Attorney General as a state counsel in 1990. Three years later, she moved to the Institute for Education in Democracy, where she worked as a program officer in charge of civic education. In 1995, she became the protection officer for the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Her next employer was the Organization of African Union. She worked for the OAU as a political analyst until 2002 when she shifted gears to politics and started working behind the scenes with teams that were crafting opposition unity. After NAC won the 2002 election, she took her campaign for women's rights to the floor of the House following her nomination to Parliament. During the ninth parliament, she served on several departmental committees charged with legal affairs and administration of justice. Aside from the Sexual Offences Act, Njoki Ndongo played a key role in the constitutional review process. She was in the Parliamentary Select Committee on Constitutional Review and was also a member of the Committee of Experts that drafted the new constitution. And her efforts on women and children rights did not go unnoticed. In 2006, she was named by the United Nations as the UN Person of the Year. In the same year, she got the Jurist of the Year Award from the ICJ and was awarded the Elder of the Burning Spear Honours by President Mwai Kibaki. Now sitting in the Supreme Court, Njoki Ndongo is the first nominated member of parliament and politician to sit in the country's highest court. From state council, refugee protection officer to member of parliament, she too knows dealing with the landmark presidential petition will be a totally different ballgame. Rita Tinina, KTN, Nairobi.